Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. The transfer window's not open yet, but it definitely is. Liverpool signing Alexi McAllister and Manchester City close to signing Kovacic from Chelsea. We know this transfer window is going to be huge. If you snooze, you will lose. Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United, Newcastle, Chelsea... If they don't get good summer transfer windows, you can forget Champions League football this time next year. You've got to have a good window, otherwise you will fall behind. Even Arsenal, who were second and in a title race, if they don't have a good window, they will be surpassed by everybody else. It's as simple as that. So teams are looking to get their business done early. We had Fabrizio Romano yesterday saying that personal terms, not a problem with Alexi McAllister and effectively they are done and that the deal itself will be completed next week. This is a deal that a Liverpool have gone out and done again very quickly, very efficiently and very shrewdly because I think Alexi McAllister from Brighton is probably what Liverpool need more than anything else. Not to say he wouldn't have been a good signing for Chelsea, Manchester United, Newcastle or Arsenal, which makes it all the better. But Liverpool are in desperate need of midfielders this summer transfer window. And not just midfielders, but midfielders with the right tenacity, attitude and ability. And Alexi McAllister, who has sort of come from nowhere in the last couple of years, certainly delivers that. You're going to get that Argentinian, South American grit and fire. But you're also going to get that flair as well. And Liverpool are in desperate need of that because this season you can complain about the defence but really the midfield hasn't provided the defence or the attack with what it needs, creativity and defensive cover. And I think Alexi McAllister will give Liverpool that. And yet again, Liverpool have gone out and shown that they can get deals done very, very quickly. There's no doubt it's been a disappointing season for Liverpool but really, when they've got the money and they've got the priorities, they do tend to be very quick. Darwin Nunez was a very quick deal at the start of last summer transfer window. We've seen them do deals like with Fabinho very, very quickly in the past. And this Alexi McAllister deal has been done very, very efficiently and very, very quickly. And it does go to show that the decision to back off from a Jude Bellingham deal is probably the right deal. The Jude Bellingham deal for Liverpool would have been like an Erling Haaland deal for Man City. When you basically got the team, you're just adding one player, a really good player, every summer. But as we've seen with Liverpool this year, they're not in a position where one player makes them better. They've got a lot of holes in that team. So a package for Bellingham that's probably going to be north of £150 million, all in, when you're taking wages, etc., you can get two, maybe three midfielders in, and that's what Liverpool do. And of course, they're being linked to people like Tiram in France and uh, Manu Kone and, and many others. So you can see that that will, um, you know, they, they will be after other players. But what do I think about Alexi McAllister? Um, I think £70 million is a lot of money for him. Um, I think Brighton have done a good bit of business there. Um, realistically, in a, in, in a more realistic market, I think he's a £50 million player, but you pay for what you get and there's competition for that sort of player. And I think if you, you know, delay on that, Brighton are in a strong position there in Europe as well. Brighton have had a good season. So, I mean, effectively, Brighton are a competitor for Liverpool at the moment. I don't think that will stay the case next year, but Brighton are a, are a very good side. So you pay, you can understand why they've had to pay £70 million for him. And comparative to what other clubs are going to be paying this season, I think, it, you know, it's £70 million is nothing to really, you know, moan about. Obviously, Liverpool would like it for less so they can do more business. But um, look, he's, I don't like the word Premier League proven. I, I like the fact that he's played in the Premier League and proven that he can do it, which is Premier League proven. But that doesn't mean you couldn't go and get Barella or someone like that. I don't think that would, would be a worse signing just because McAllister's played in the Premier League. But I think it's a really good, efficient, quick signing. And one of the things that I think that's really important, and I've witnessed this with United over the years, is that you sign these players... And then they're not part of pre-season. You know, you're signing them at the end of July or late August. And there's so much to be said for that player being there on the first day of training and going on the tour and establishing themselves and understanding the tactics. That's worth another 10, 20. It never gets said, you know, but at the end of the day, would you rather Liverpool got Alexi McAllister and battled it out with Brighton all summer and they paid £50 million and they got him in late August? Or would you rather pay 17? You've got him in for the first day of training in July. I think it's worth that 20 million to get a pre-season sometimes. So I think it's a good deal. And it'd be interesting to see where Liverpool go next because they are, like a lot of clubs, trying to get things done quickly. They thought they were going to get Mason Mount. It looks like he's going to head to Manchester United, but there's plenty of other options out there and Liverpool will be doing more business. 
Talking about Mason Mount, I've talked about that on the United stand, but let's stick with Chelsea and take it to Manchester City. Kovacic is in talks with Man City and uh, Chelsea are open to this. I think Chelsea are a shambles. Uh, I really do. I don't think that, I don't not think they can come back from it. I did a video on Chelsea yesterday. It will stand the test of time. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. But I think Chelsea are the most vulnerable team trying to get into that top six next year. They're furthest away and it's been a chaotic year. Why is Mason Mount and Kovacic being allowed to leave Chelsea? A year ago, they would have been two of their better players. They haven't had a good season, but then again, who has at Chelsea? Why are Mount and Kovacic heading out the door quicker than a Ziyech or a Havertz or any other player that you know, really should be sold? And the honest answer is, is because Chelsea is a shambles. Pochettino has got to work quickly. He will look at Liverpool, he will look at United, he will look at Arsenal, he will know he's behind them anyway, and then he'll see them doing business moving further away. He's got to get in and he's got to get his business done quickly. How do you get business done quickly when you're inheriting a club that spent half a billion in the last year on players that you probably don't want and they've already got a load of players you don't want? You're massively, massively in trouble because you're not in the Champions League. You've got financial fair play weighing down on you. You've got to get rid of players. And some of those players you've got to get rid of quickly. And when that happens, you start saying Kovacic can go to a rival. Mount can go to a rival. Because that's probably going to bring you in a quick 100 million. And that's why that's happening. Chelsea would not be doing these deals a year ago. No way, Pedro. They would not be doing them. They're doing them now because they're desperate. Pochettino is the man they're pinning their hopes on. And Pochettino knows he's got to move quick. And the way you move quick is you sell players that are sellable. And Mason Mount and Kovacic really should, maybe shouldn't be part of Chelsea's long-term future. But Pep Guardiola and Eric Ten Hag are like, yes, I'll take those. So, you know, 29 years old Kev Kovacic, 24-year-old Mount going to Manchester United and Manchester City. There's a clue there, isn't it? You know, top clubs want those players and Chelsea are having to sell them because of the deals they've done last year where they've got ridiculous contracts, ridiculous wages, ridiculous fees to pay. And they've got to clear some cash if they want to bring new players in. So this is this is this is this is um, basement level build up for Chelsea. They're not, you know, they've got a lot of flaws to move through, uh, lose, uh, move through, and obviously Pochettino's got a massive job on his hands. I think it's going to be a difficult job. I think it's going to be a difficult job. I think there's going to have to be patience at Chelsea. I think there's a very small chance that it's just going to go well from day one. I think there will be a lot to do, and it's going to be obviously Chelsea want to get in the transfer race themselves, but. The problem that Chelsea have got is that, you know, some players will look at it and go, well, look, when you've got Mason Mount, who's a Chelsea lad, turning his back on Chelsea to go to Man United, it just shows you the scale of what's gone wrong at Chelsea over the last years. But on Kovacic, I like him. And I think, again, this is Pep Guardiola doing a clever bit of business, bringing a player in who, look, I know Kovacic has had a bad year, but he's always been one of the players I'd look at at Chelsea and go, I'd love him. He's, he's aggressive. He's good on the ball. He's got a great engine. And, uh, you know, adding him to that Man City midfield just enhances it. It really does. I'd be interested to see what the fee is, but I think that's a clever bit of business from, from Pep Guardiola. And again, it just shows you how desperate Chelsea are, that they're, they're doing business with clubs they want to be. You know, all right, Chelsea are always going to be a long way from Man City at the moment, but how far the Man United, surely a team they want to be going for. Man United finished third. Is that not what Chelsea wants? So... They're, they're, they're having to sell assets to bring money in so that they can start the rebuild. Because at the moment, I think that job's a really difficult job for Chelsea. But for, for Man City, it's the same old story, isn't it? They've got the best team in the world and they're just adding players in. Um, and I think it's a very shrewd move. I like Kovacic and I think he'll do well at Man City and I think it's a good move for him. Um, this is going to be a very, very hectic summer transfer window. I mean, we've just spoken about... Man City, Chelsea and Liverpool there and there'll be plenty more of these sort of things going on but give us your thoughts on the general summer transfer window but on Kovacic to Man City and McAllister to Liverpool and the situation at Chelsea what are your thoughts on those give us your comments make sure you smash a like and subscribe lots of content for you coming up over the coming days and weeks um, and uh, thanks for subscribing and getting involved I'll speak to you on the next one